Get the net! I'm a streamer. <laughs> so one thing we like to do to make it fun is we like to pick and kind of surprise each other where we're going fishing next. So this time it was Drew's turn to pick. We're smack dab in the middle of winter, middle of January, and Drew told me pretty much where to pick him up this morning. And then we, he jumped in my truck and we proceeded to drive seven hours. And now we're here with like a canal um, in the background and a culvert. <laughs> we drove like probably at least an hour of those seven was on dirt road, but now here we are in the middle of nowhere. So Let's hope Drew's it's been that. here before. <laughs> So we're just going to rely on Drew today. Guide Drew. Let's do it. So we're fishing this little canal situation right here. I've been here before and I know there's nice fish in here. Uh, but it is the middle of winter. For some reason the water is quite a bit off color. Usually it's uh, pretty clear. Um, I'm going to start off fishing just a little olive woolly bugger. Um, just because the water's off color, I want to kind of get their attention and see if we'll get any fish to move on it. So hopefully we catch them out of here. If not, there's a few other spots around this area where we're going to try out. So let's go. So just super slow water. I've had a fish. Come in, I think it's the same fish. Come in, eat twice, or really chase my streamer. There he is. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man, I love this game. All right, so my line is a little bit long. The fish is, uh, I got him under control. I got some pretty heavy tippet with the murky water, so I just keep hanging on to my rod and just string them in. Look at that. Tuna's first tiger trout right here. Let's see him. <sighs> yep, your first tiger. His tail looks nice. <laughs> I think he rolled on it twice on two casts earlier. And then, uh, there we go, buddy. Kind of a, like dead looking frog water. You know, it looks like there's nothing living in here. And then all of a sudden the fish will eat, like right in front of you. Oh. I don't know if it ate my fly or not. I can't see my fly. My fly sinks more than like a foot and I can't see it. But it's still fun because uh, a lot of times you won't see your fly. You'll just see the flash of a fish rolling on your streamer, on your fly. So that's what I just saw. I'd worked on him for a little while. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see any movement or any rises or anything. This this spot kind of empties out into like the actual lake, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. So we might want to go higher up. Pretty nice day though. We got a couple fish already. Yeah, Drew drug us all the way out here and then like not even 10 minutes into it, I got, a, I got that nice tiger trout. Dude, so many fish in this little, uh, I don't know what you call this thing. This pool? Yeah, lots of little fish in here and some big fish, so hopefully we can get some. They're rising, they're swimming, they're eating. Let's see. Wait, they're swimming? Yeah, look, here's one right here. <sighs> Just peel the plastic off this baby. <laughs> that was pretty fun though. That was cool. He yeah. chased it he in chased a few it. times, yeah, huh? Like my first fish of 2021. There's like a hundred fish right here. Look at Drew, this. Drew came over here to the other side and found a whole bunch of fish. That's where they've all been. We just stay here, guys. I don't see that one. Are they still right there? Spots on them. Slippery little guy. And I just have a level line on. 
So for like tight line nymphing, I guess I'm I'm just watching my line and w just watching it to swim or dive down and set the hook. Pretty easy. I'm a little busy catching all the fish. Looks like a uh, bird might have tried to take them away. Yeah. Did you see him? No. When you fished him? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> that thing ate, and then like three or four seconds later, I was like, um, I think your line's like moving. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, no. And then he sets the hook, and then he pulls it. That's when you hooked him. <laughs> it's a nice fish. Yeah. Where are you going, dude? You over it? <laughs> he's just out here. He's like, I'm done with this. Nice one, Drew. Pretty decent fish. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I say. Yeah. <laughs> you got it down. I just like to get the go ahead before I set the hook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, dude. It's a little bit better looking than those other ones. Really? <laughs> <laughs> It's only good from the road. Good net job. <laughs> we got here about that time you go to the dentist. Do you know what time it is? 2.30. <laughs> yeah, so we got here around 2.30 or 3. Only got to fish for a few hours. Um, what'd you think so far, dude? That's been fun. You catch any fish? Yeah, I had kind of give you a hard time, but we've caught some fish. Yeah, so got his first fun. tiger. We both caught some rainbow it's trout. Not one, but <laughs> it's a fish. Yeah. We've seen some big fish in here, so hopefully tomorrow we'll come back and get more. It's getting dark. The sun went down over the mountains and it's getting dark, so we're going to call it and then come back tomorrow. Yeah. It's been pretty fun. I mean, in the wintertime, you can't ask for much. There's not a whole lot of places to fish, so yeah. we got to get out and get some fish today, so it's been really good. Yeah. So day two, uh, we're gonna go hit this spot again. Yesterday was pretty good. The conditions were great, no wind. Today, super windy. It's like 15 miles per hour winds, I think, um, with some big gusts. So we'll see how that affects the fishing. It might be a little bit more difficult today, but we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Here we go, day two. Just got back down to the river and it's very windy today. We'll be throwing some streamers and heavier flies, so we should be able to punch in a little bit. <laughs> what? Drew, get the net! Look at this pig! Get the net! <laughs> Stopped at this spot real quick to go to the bathroom because we all had to go. It's the morning time, you know. And uh, so none of us had our waders on or anything. And then tuna casts in and hooks into a big fish. So we're here, we're waited up, ready to get serious and catch some more of those things.
Water's pretty off color here. We've been using streamers and it's been working. Just uh, got this brown. Pretty nice fish on the streamer. But look how off color the water is. But they're still hitting it, so it's been fun. Streamer fishing. I just had my streamer out in the water and then uh, I saw I saw that tiger trout swim over and he eat it and I, so I just set to the side and uh, yeah, landed him. And then like falling down here and getting a stick. <laughs> no, I fell down. In, your, in the back of your oh, sweater. God. Sometimes when you want to land a fish quickly, you just gotta go for it. <laughs> Jump down here. Beginning of this video, I was kind of giving Drew a hard time about coming all the way out here and fishing a, a ditch in the middle of winter, but hey man, it paid off. Yeah. So instead of making fun of you, I should say thank you, I guess. You're welcome, dude. You caught a nice rainbow. There Apology accepted. <laughs> <laughs> caught some nice fish today and yesterday. Yeah. And the crazy good. thing about winter is you can still fish in the winter. It can be really good. No one's out here. So we have every little spot to ourselves. The other thing is the weather has changed crazy since yesterday. Yesterday was amazing. Yeah, it was like, like dead calm, no wind at all. Today it's super windy. Yeah, and yesterday it was like 15 degrees colder. And then today it's so windy, sunny out. A little bit of rain even. Yeah. But we've still caught some nice fish today yeah. in the wind. Yeah, so if you're sitting on your butt at home, get out there in the winter time. It's fun. Yeah. You know, you gotta be a little picky and choosy when you pick your spots to go in the winter, but just get out and try somewhere.